My name is Akiva Goldman and I'm an attorney. And today we're going to discuss an issue that comes up a lot, uh, an inquiry that a lot of clients make. If there's any questions about this, please feel free to contact us directly at 248-588-3333. I get a lot of calls from people who just want to discuss their options. They just want to know what their rights are as it relates to divorce. Um, a lot of times they call us before they speak to anybody. A lot of times they call us frustrated because they already spoke to five other guys and they got very little in the way of information. Um, as a side note, let me say that lawyers will give clients a certain uh, a, a consultation in a case uh, versus advice. Advice is usually reserved primarily for clients. Consultation is for non-clients. Here's the difference. Um, you want to know what options are available, that's a consultation. You want to know which one works best for you, that's advice. And for advice, lawyers don't give that unless there's an attorney-client relationship. So don't get frustrated if people call and they say, well, I can't tell you that, I can't tell you that. They're only trying to work within the boundaries of the attorney-client relationship. Now, a lot of people want to know what the process is. They just want to know how a person gets a divorce. Um, how the court makes certain determinations. I'll tell you this. There are a lot of moving parts to that kind of procedure. Generally, it starts with the filing of a complaint for divorce. The filing for the complaint is going to take place in the county where you reside, and it's basically going to tell the court, look, there's been a breakdown of the marriage, the objects of matrimony have been destroyed, there's no chance of reconciliation, we want a divorce. That's basically all that complaint is going to say in most cases. It's then up to the court to determine what we do in the development of those issues. Now, once you file your case, it's going to be randomly assigned to a family court judge, and it'll be uh, sent to that judge, and that judge will issue a summons. A summons is an order to do something. It's usually an order to answer, and that summons will be attached to the complaint that you filed. It'll go back to the law firm, and then the law firm will go about the business of serving the other side. And by serving, I mean you got to get these papers to the other side somehow. How's that done? Usually it's done with the assistance of a bailiff or a process server or some person whose job it is to hand the papers uh, to the other side. Now it can't be you, it can't be a party, it's got to be a non-party so that we can be assured of the integrity of the process. Uh, once the person is served, they have a certain amount of time within which to react and that is typically 21 days. And that's also typically the time when they're going to go hire their own lawyers. And then the lawyers will go about the business of figuring out what are we fighting about, what can we agree upon, and smart lawyers will put aside the things that are agreed upon and spend the effort trying to deal with the issues that are in dispute. That's the best way of getting a, the, to the meat of the issue and getting your quickest result.